Hey everybody, it's Al with Bobcat. So there's a thread going on in a CAD CAM forum uh, that's uh, catching a lot of chatter that has to do with projecting curves uh, and keeping the toolpath normal to the projected surface. So I wanted to pick up this topic and show you how you do it in Bobcad. Um, you do need a multi-axis version of Bobcad. This is a five-axis toolpath. Uh, we're going to just load one in here. And uh, so you get you have these uh, seven surface-based toolpaths. The one we're going to choose is called Project Curves. Uh, from here, we're going to just set up our tool. So uh, we have our tool size set up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drive the tool along the center of the projected path, and so the diameter is going to be the width of cut. Uh, when we get into our parameters, uh, Edit Curves, we need to select the curve that we want to project. Uh, we need to set the projection direction, so that's going to be z-axis. Uh, drive surfaces, this is going to be that uh, yellow surface right there, so I'm just going to pick that by color. Spacebar to lock that in. Um, as far as everything else, this is going to be a 5-axis output. All the defaults will work in this example. Uh, we may... Because I'm projecting right onto that surface, we may actually want to drop the path uh, further down in Z. So I'm going to just drop this down uh, the radius of the cutter. Uh, if you did want to make multiple passes to get down to the bottom, you can use depth of cuts. And then you can say the uh, number of passes, and then uh, you can give it its uh, uh, increment uh, between them. So now that you have this all set up, you can compute your toolpath, and that will show the toolpath. Now right now it's uh, cut deeper into the model here. So uh, let's go ahead and load up a simulation. So here we can see our cutter, and we can see that tool is normal to that surface. So we can just slow this down and run it through a simulation. Uh, based on the comments that were posted in the thread, I believe this is what the, the user is looking for. Uh, you can use project curves in a number of different ways. This is just uh, one way in which you can do it. And again, uh, the tilt of the tool is based on the surface normal. So uh, if there's any questions or comments, feedback, uh, feel, feel free to reply back to the thread, the Facebook, or the YouTube. Uh, otherwise, uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.